On today's video, we're going to look at the Redstone 5000 BTU ceramic heater. This is the Old Guy Network. Yep. Welcome back to the Old Guy Network. I'm the Old Guy, the OGJ, and I'm deep in the trailer hood. And uh, yeah, it's still uh, cold outside, but I'm a little warmer in here because as you can see right over here, I've got my heater going. That's that's cranking out 18,000 BTUs and uh, the trailer will be all warmed up here in no time. I've been thinking about heat quite a bit lately because, well, I lost my furnace in my house. I didn't lose it. I know where it is. It just doesn't work. So I did a video on the installation of my Renai heater. And uh, there's a card up here somewhere. You can click on that and you can you can take a look at that one. But uh, because you have to leave the doors open in different rooms for the Renai to, to warm them up, and it, and it works well when you do that. For reasons I'm, I'm not going to get into, uh, the bathroom door is closed all the time. And so there's no heat source in there. So I decided I wanted to get a, a small heat source for it. I didn't want to go with anything elaborate, not even the big buddy here. That's that's way too too much for that. I mean, I've got, what, 42 square feet, something like that. So what I've decided, as you probably saw from the thumbnail, is I got one of these nice ceramic heaters. Uh, did a little research on the interwebs, and they said that uh, ceramic heaters seem to be the thing right now. They're uh, fairly efficient. They work well. This one is uh, has forced air. It does have a fan in it. And it, uh, it, it works pretty well, at least that's, that's the theory. It's about 5,000 BTUs, a little bit over, but it shouldn't have any trouble handling a room that small. So I'm gonna take this in. Uh, first, we're gonna unbox it. We're gonna take a look at it out here. Then I'm gonna take it into the trailer, put it into the bathroom, and uh, we'll see just how much it raises the temperature in just a few minutes. So that's, uh, that's what we're planning today. And incidentally, I got this at Tractor Supply for $19.99. So that's a fairly inexpensive heat source. I don't know what it's gonna cost to run it, but uh, you know, it should do the job. Before we get started though, I just wanna remind you that, you know, I don't have any coffee right here. You can't, no coffee. I, well, I keep hitting the microphone, but no coffee. And uh, I sure could use a cup of coffee. And if you'd like to help support the channel, get me a cup of coffee. Uh, just go over to my coffee page. There's a link down here somewhere. And uh, a couple of bucks, it, it goes a long way. And I really appreciate it. So thank you for that. So let's take a look now at my uh, new Redstone ceramic heater. Let's get started with the unboxing. I don't even have to get up. I can do it right here because we're just going to show you what this is. Now, with all good unboxings, you have to take it out of the box first. So, hey, genius. And remember, this was only $19.99, so for 20 bucks, what can you expect, right? All right, you get the destructions. One page. <laughs> this is not a complicated piece of equipment. Uh, it's packaged very well if you buy these on the internet. And they come shipped to you. Uh, it is actually packaged pretty well. And the best way to do this is turn the box upside down. I hope it doesn't fall out of your hands. Put some styrofoam on that side, got some styrofoam on the other side. And now we've got some plastic to take off here. And we're gonna look at the different functions. And I really wish I brought my glasses in here, but I didn't. So it does have a thermostat, which is really nice. Um, hmm. Okay, let's take a look. And you can see right there, this is the thermostat. From lower to higher, now that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? And uh, we've got our selector here, off of course, then we have fan, and low, and high, and uh, that's it. <laughs> there is a power indicator light right there and has little feet on it that, oh, I see. Okay, now this, this little plunger right here, when that sets down, I'll show you, I'll use this ceramic tile. Pretend this is the floor or counter, wherever you have it. 
and this sits down on that, the plunger goes up, and if it falls over, that shuts it off. So that's very, very safe. That's good. If you have a, a cat or a dog or, or a small child that knocks it over, it's just going to turn off. So that's a nice safety feature for it. I like the fact that it's electric. I know electric heaters cost a little bit to run, but uh, no propane, don't have to worry about venting, not going to have any noxious fumes, and uh, this should work pretty well. I mean, it is 5,000 BTUs in a small little heater like this. That's, uh, that's not too bad. I mean, there's not really a whole lot you can say about this. Uh, I can plug it in and we can see the little indicator light come on, but uh, why don't we wait and do that in the trailer? So we can go do that right now. First, I have to clean my bathroom and uh, I won't put you through that. And uh, then I'll, I'll test this out and we'll bring in a thermometer and we'll see what the temperature is before we turn it on. And then uh, after five minutes, I'll give it just five minutes, we'll check the temperature and see if uh, it's gotten any better. So let's go take care of that right now. Here we are in my beautiful bathroom and my palatial estate, which I call the trailer. And that noise that you hear in the background, that is the exhaust fan. That comes on when you turn the light on. So hopefully you'll be able to hear all this. Now I brought in the thermometer that I had in the shop. I don't know if you can see that. It's just under 60 degrees. And yeah, about 58 degrees. So let's plug in our heater. And I'm going to put it on high. And I know you probably can't hear that, but the fan is running. I'm going to turn that right up. Just to show you how the thermostat works on this, as you get it up to temperature, just turn this dial slowly to the left until the fan shuts off. Right there is where it shuts off. Now when the temperature drops, it'll automatically come back on again. And I will set the thermometer over here. Actually, I'm going to take the thermometer and I'm going to put it on this side of the room. And we're just going to let this run for five minutes and then I'll come back and uh, we'll check out and see, see how warm it is in here. It has been five minutes exactly and I don't know if you can see this, but the temperature has gone up at about three degrees. <laughs> so another fair test, I guess the real fair test is, let's turn the exhaust fan off. And uh, we're going to try this again. I'll do another five minutes and we'll see if we get any better results. Better, I don't know, but I've got it up here. Let's try this uh, five more minutes, this time with the fan off. Been another five minutes and we are up to, well, <laughs> 62 degrees. Probably if I laid it down, put it down on the floor, everything would work better, but because uh, after all, you know, heat rises. Why don't we try that next? Here, I'll move this over and uh, we'll try putting it down on the floor. Well, it's been another five minutes and we started with just a little over 60 degrees. Um, that's when I had the heater on the counter. Now I put the heater down on the floor where it should be and uh, yeah, we're up to just about 70 degrees after five minutes. So this is gonna work quite well. Just uh, put it on the floor. Remember heat rises. I wanted to show you, you know, different options. We ran it with the fan on, ran uh, the exhaust fan. I ran it without the exhaust fan. This last test, I put it on the ground and kept the exhaust fan on. So if you don't have an exhaust fan running, it'll probably warm up a little faster. But after five minutes, brought it up about 10 degrees, that's not bad. So I'm, uh, I'm fairly happy with this thing. Uh, it was only $20. Back in the shop, and this is actually the next day because I wanted to test it 
one more time. This time I put it in the bedroom and I put it down on the floor, cranked it all the way up, turned it up, walked out. About 10 minutes later, I came back in and it was hot in that room. It was really, really warm. Now my bedroom's very small. It's about 12 by 12. Uh, and the uh, box said that this heater heats up to 150 square feet. So that's just under the 150. And it worked really well. As a matter of fact, I like it a little cooler when I sleep at night. I have blankets on me and I have the dog beside me, so he heats up pretty well. Uh, so I turned, the, I turned it off. I didn't use it. I just warmed up the room, went to bed. The next morning, um, you know, it, it was a little chilly, but uh, I think this is going to work out really well. I may get another one of these just for the bedroom, just so I can heat it up real quickly. That's it for uh, this unboxing. I really like the heater. It was $20 at Tractor Supply. Uh, you know, you can't beat that. Uh, I don't know what it's going to cost to run it. It runs anywhere from 900 watts to 1500 watts, I think. Uh, if you're only using it sparingly, it shouldn't be that much on your electric bill. I wouldn't run this all the time. Just run it when you need to be in the bathroom or a small room. Uh, you know, whatever you're using to eat it with. I would not put this out in the shed. It would not work hardly at all. But in the bathroom, it works pretty well. In the, in the bedroom, it warmed up the bedroom really quickly. So I like it. Uh, tell me what you think. If you have one of these heaters or a different brand of heater, uh, maybe you have a quartz heater that you think works even better. But I like the ceramic heater. It seems to do the job, and uh, I think it's pretty good. If you got anything out of this video, if you enjoyed it at all, please hit like, please hit share. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so now. Hit the notification bell and you won't miss any of the videos. Boy, there's a lot of stuff to do, isn't there? I'll see you next time here in the trailer hood for the Old Guy Network. I am the old guy. I'm the OG. And I'm out.